names of the great artists Leonardo da Vinci and Michelangelo. They inspired the term Renaissance. So what was Renaissance? Renaissance literally means rebirth and this period saw the rise of a new culture, innovative ideas and fresh approaches in Europe. This was an exciting era which marked the end of the medieval age and the beginning of the modern era. The Renaissance did not happen all at once. The process transformation started in the 14th century and went on till the 17th century. Beginning from Italy, it gradually spread to France, England, Germany and the rest of Europe. There were many reasons of the birth of the Renaissance. An important factor was the change in the way the Europeans thought. In the 16th century, Europe saw great advancement in the field of science. This led to the rise of rationalism where people tried to understand everything scientifically using reason and logic. Francis Bacon, an English philosopher of that time, advised people to give up their old beliefs and encouraged scientific research. With the invention of the printing press, many books were published and the common people began to get more educated. As their reasoning power improved with education, they questioned the age-old beliefs and superstitions of the medieval ages. The influence of the church reduced as people began to seek rational answers to problems. Socially and economically, there was a change as well, where feudalism ended, giving rise to a new class of capitalists who had money and power. Another group of thinkers called humanists had a great influence on the Renaissance movement. These humanists urged people seek happiness in this world instead of worrying about life after death as taught by the church. Pico della Mirandola, an Italian humanist, celebrated the greatness of man in his writings. The people of the Renaissance were excited about growing their knowledge and this led to their pursuit of science. Bacon believed that scientific discoveries could enrich and improve human life. This shift in thinking helped people come up with new ideas and discoveries. There were numerous scientific discoveries in the field of astronomy that altered people's understanding of the world. Copernicus, a Polish intellectual, discovered that the Earth rotates on its axis and moved around the Sun. Galileo, an Italian physicist, supported the theory advocated by Copernicus. He also invented the first telescope. However, these new theories were opposed by the church who feared that these discoveries were challenging the traditional belief system and weakening the church's hold on the common people. Bruno, a supporter of the Copernican theory, was burnt at the stake for sacrilege. Galileo too faced the wrath of the church for his new ideas, but this did not stop people from going forward with their research and discoveries. They went on to make many more discoveries in the fields of physics and chemistry. Kepler explained the movement of the sun mathematically and Newton explained it through the laws of gravitation. William Harvey's research about the circulation of blood gave new direction to medical science. Thus, all these scientific discoveries helped to lay the foundation of modern science. The Renaissance had changed the outlook of the common people and this had a great impact on their religious life as well. As people grew more educated and rational, they began to question the way the Roman Church was run. The ways of the Pope were challenged and the evils of the system exposed. 
The Pope was accused of misusing the money collected from the peasants for his own extravagance. Thus the Reformation was a revolt against the corruption among the priests and the exploitation of the people by the Pope and the Church. This movement was also supported by many prominent rulers who did not want the Church to interfere in the administration of their empires. John Wycliffe and John Huss revolted against the Pope for which John Huss was burnt at the stake. Many others were also killed by the Church. However, their sacrifices made the Reformation movement even more powerful. Martin Luther, a German scholar, contributed greatly to this movement. Under his influence, Zwingli led the Reformation in Switzerland. After Luther's death, Calvin carried on his ideas. The Reformation spread in Scotland, France, Sweden and Holland. This Reformation movement caused a split in the church and gave rise to a new sect known as the Protestant sect. The birth of Protestantism resulted in the Catholic Reformation. A number of measures were taken to improve the Catholic Church to win its followers back, particularly by the Jesuits led by Ignatius Loyola. But the damage was already done and the division between the Protestants and the Catholics led to an increase in religious conflicts and wars. The age of Renaissance was a period of great intellectual growth. Scientific discoveries caused a radical change in the way people thought and viewed the world. Reformation brought about a shift in the religious lives of the people. Values like rationalism, humanism and nationalism developed and brought the world closer to the modern age. America is the most powerful country in the world today. But did you know that there was a time when nobody knew it existed? America and many other places were discovered after great explorers of the past undertook dangerous journeys in search of new worlds. These explorations opened up new worlds and provided new opportunities. Let us learn more about these explorations and discoveries. One of the most famous explorers was Marco Polo. Marco Polo became famous due to his voyages from Venice to China and Japan. He traveled during the 13th century and through his writings the Europeans learned about the riches of the East, especially of China, Burma, Siam, India and the East Indies. Marco Polo had mostly traveled by land. The sea routes were by and large unknown. In the 15th century, the European rulers and merchants were eager to increase trade relations with the East. With this in mind, the Portuguese and the Spanish rulers pioneered the first explorations across the oceans mainly to find new sea routes to Asia, especially to India. The Portuguese King Henry The Portuguese King Henry encouraged navigation by creating maps based on the experiences of sailors. As explorations increased, the sailors started using improved navigational instruments like the compass. Many explorers were eager to prove the new theory that the world was round instead of being flat. Among the many explorers who set out on these voyages, some made important discoveries. Bartolomeu Diaz, a Portuguese explorer, achieved a remarkable feat by reaching to the southern tip of Africa called the Cape of Good Hope. This helped Vasco da Gama, who followed this route and sailed around the Cape of Good Hope 
to reach Calicut in India in 1498 AD. Therefore, Vasco da Gama discovered a new sea route from Europe to India. This new route greatly helped to trade in the years to come. Perhaps the perhaps the most well-known explorer is Christopher Columbus. Columbus was an Italian explorer who crossed the Atlantic Ocean in 1492 AD, hoping to reach India using a western sea route. In those days, no one knew that there was any other land between Europe and Asia. As a result, when Columbus reached America, he thought he had reached India and named the inhabitants Indians and the country the Indies. It was only much later that these lands were named the Americas after the Italian explorer Amerigo Vespucci. These adventurous voyagers continued with their explorations even after Vasco da Gama had discovered the sea route to India. Ferdinand Magellan, a Portuguese voyager, sailed around the earth and proved that the earth was round. Such explorations made people aware of many regions of the world which were so far unknown to them. These discoveries changed These discoveries changed people's perception of the world. Countries like France, England and Netherlands started their own explorations. John Cabot and Francis Drake of England sailed around the world and gained knowledge about the geography of the world. Gradually, exploration took on a new meaning as a result of the industrial revolution in Europe. The European countries began a race to increase their trade. The lure for gold and precious goods made many countries resort to plundering and colonization. This way, the European countries set up their colonies in the whole of Asia and Africa. The Europe The European colonizers plundered the wealth of the Incas and the Aztecs and the mines of Peru, Bolivia and Mexico. Not only were the colonized countries plundered and exploited, their people were also oppressed and subjected to slavery. In Asia, the British started the colonization of India in the mid 18th century. China was also affected by imperialism to its north. Russia took control of North Korea and to its east, Japan attacked Manchuria. China fought two opium wars with the British. Meanwhile, in Africa, France took control of Tunis and Morocco. Britain too formed four colonies in Africa. However, this race However, this race for colonization had a negative impact on the relationship between the European nations. These countries fought among themselves and spent most of their profits from the colonies in strengthening their military powers. This power struggle eventually led to the first world war. Thus what began as a voyage of discovery of new worlds got corrupted by greed and led to bloodshed. The geographical discoveries made in the 15th century encouraged the spirit of inquiry among the people. With the discovery of new and unknown lands, the Europeans gained a new perspective of the world and moved closer towards Renaissance.